Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. One of my goals for the next year, as it's been for every year, is to grow my hair to tailbone length. As the title suggests, in today's video, I'm gonna be trying to moisture train my hair. Now this is a three week process that you're supposed to use to really get moisture to penetrate your hair shaft and ensure that your hair is bouncy and luscious with, and doesn't dry out basically. Over the next three weeks, we'll see how that goes. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel, I post a lot of beauty, makeup, hair, and lifestyle type videos. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. Without further ado, let's get started. I'll start off with a little bit about my hair. I do have 4C hair everywhere, and then the back of my hair is like 4B. It's much looser curl. Honestly, it's probably like a 4A, to be honest. It's like wavy rather than actually being curly or coily at all. My hair is low porosity, medium density, and medium to fine hair in like the actual diameter of my hair, which I don't think is that common for a lot of 4C people. Maybe I've never really seen too many people with my type of hair. Um, most 4Cs have very thick, luscious hair. That's just not what I have. Anyways, but my hair is really soft. So for this method, here are the products that I'm going to be using. First, we begin with our clarifying mask. Now this is supposed to actually replace your shampoo. This is the Aztec Bentonite Clay, and this is what you're basically supposed to use to clarify your hair, and it's supposed to make your hair clump and curl and all that good stuff. I also have the Bragg's Apple Cider Vinegar, which you guys know I love. Um, this one, you don't have to get this one specifically, but this one is raw and unfiltered, and it has the mother in it. Next we are going to be deep conditioning our hair and the one that I have is from Shea Moisture. This is a raw shea butter deep treatment mask with kelp and argan oil. While you're deep conditioning, especially with low porosity hair, it's really important that you're getting a lot of heat in the hair as well. So I do have this little cap that I picked up from Amazon. This is like a silicone pack. It's a heat pack. You put it in the microwave, plop it on your head for half an hour and this is supposed to help get that heat to allow the moisture to penetrate and that's what I'm going to be using. Next, I'm going to be using a leave-in conditioner in the shower. This one is from Salon Selectives Instant Repair. And y'all, like if you don't know about this, this is actually from the dollar store and it is so good. Literally costs a dollar and it leaves your hair so nice and smooth and just easy to manage. I have my spray bottle, which is every curly girl's hair essential. And in here there is just glycerin and aloe vera with a little bit of tea tree. Last but not least, I have this DIY hair balm. It's a whipped butter that I make myself and it's made with shea butter, cocoa butter, castor oil, as well as this Indian hemp hair and scalp treatment. I picked this up when I went to Ghana two years ago. This one's actually a grease. I don't know what it is, but for a long time, I just kind of stayed away from grease in general. I think a lot of people, a lot of naturals have, but honestly, when I was little and my mom used to literally just use water and grease in my hair, my hair was the best it had ever been. As I grew up, I switched into using just oil in my hair and nothing moisturizes like grease. I'm not a big fan of the texture of grease, so I prefer to melt it down and whip it in with my butters. So this is the hair butter. And there you go. It's just so buttery and creamy. It just melts in your fingers. With that all out of the way, let's get into how our weeks went. I've never really used to clean my hair before, so I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to need. It was like four tablespoons. And I'm just gonna mix my apple cider vinegar until it gets kind of frothy. Wooden spoon. Now it's nice and creamy. That should be good. All of my hair is covered. It is the weirdest texture applying clay to your hair. It is so weird because it's not creamy. It's just, it feels like there's grains in the actual solution that you're using. As you can see, my hair has a completely different texture down here. like. Look at that. I honestly feel like cutting it off just so it's like even, but they're actually the same length. My hair and this is the exact same length. It's just I have some parts of my hair that are a bit 
looser in a curl. I don't even know what type of curl that is, to be honest. Because she behaves completely different to the rest of my hair. Oh my god, I put a bit of the leave-in conditioner in it already so it doesn't dry out as I'm detangling and twisting it. This feels really, really good. I try to minimize the amount of times that I put a comb in my hair. I only want to do it one time. So there we are. Okay, and then we twist. Okay, and then twist the ends. Now we're gonna do a band too. Beautiful. Oh, it feels so nice and juicy. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of my head and I'm gonna be right back. All right, guys, here we are. I've had this little towel on my head. It's been 30 minutes. So just gonna start with the back here. Oh my God. <laughs> that feels amazing. It feels so soft. Wow. Wow. Okay, so here is our hair. Oh my God, it's so soft and my hands run right through it. Like this is like a never for me. It does look a little bit frizzy, so I think the more you do it, the more your hair is gonna clump, but ooh, mm, I'm excited for this to dry and um, that's gonna take two days, so I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> it's going to be like this for the next two days and then I will unravel it and we'll see what we have. Okay, so it's been three days <laughs> since I did my hair. Um, I know I'm very late, but I actually decided to go back in and do braids instead because I wanted it to be a little bit more elongated. And today we're going to take the oil One thing about braids is it definitely takes a lot longer to separate because it's so like finely done. This looks so pretty. Oh, y'all. Oh. <laughs> there it is. What do y'all think? I think I did a lot of work. Kind of looks like a mullet because the back of my hair is long. So I'm just kind of pushing it up a little bit, but now it kind of looks like I have pigtails. It's not exactly the look I was going for. What if I did put it in pigtails? What then? What if I do? I'm gonna take these little like elastic um, bands that are better for your hair and we're going to part it down the middle since it's already there and put this around our hair. Do we like this? I think, I think we do. I think we do. What is going on with my hair right now? I have never seen my hair curl like this. It's even curlier than it was last time because last time it was kind of frizzy, but right now, like curls. Oh my God. I'm astonished. My hair was super easy to get this in this time. I think the second time around, also because I haven't brushed my hair, it's really easy to get the clay in your hair. Now it still has that dry grainy texture, so it's not smooth or buttery or anything. And I don't feel like adding any oils in there. I don't wanna mess with the mixture, just leave it as basic and normal as possible. And I think it turns out really, really nice. This is the third time that I'm doing the clay mask. And this is what it looks like. It just moves so nicely. I 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I loved making it. Leave a comment down below and let us know if you've ever tried to moisture train your hair. We'd love to hear your thoughts, tips, products that you have loved as well. Click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my very next video. Bye!